Greetings from the land of Canada. My name is Matt, and welcome to the Encapsulatron 3.0 tutorial. I stripped this thing of uh, basically half of all of its its shell, and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like without the floor on. And uh, it's, uh, it's like a little puzzle for all the redstone. All of this, every single uh, repeater here is actually rather necessary for both the timing as well as if these weren't here, if they were just redstone, these blocks would be powering uh, these uh, pieces of redstone because it powers it through. So you need to have the repeaters like that. And uh, basically, it's pretty easy to make. Um, the, the trick about the, this one is that um, redstone torches, when they're underneath dispensers, they power that one as well as that one. So they power both of them at the same time. So you can see when you have something up here and you want to light it and let go pops out the top. So uh, what you need to do is have the top, well two of them be, what the, why is it, why is it facing that way? What way is it facing? What? Huh? So weird. Okay, it's fixed. Weird. You have one side all water and the other side all lava. So that means one, two, one, two. And let's do it to where the lava is on this side and like this. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some obsidian. There you go. And the lava is going to be here. So we're going to have it encapsulate this area. But uh, actually it needs to be this. Because uh, that's going to be one side. And uh, this side over here is going to be here and here. As well as here and here. And uh, then the next side is going to be here and here. As well as this. Yeah, it just puts it upside down, that's weird. Anyway, so, here and here, as well as here and here, cool. And now all you gotta do is put redstone torches underneath each of them, like this. Now they are all powered, uh-oh, okay, um. Can I get those sucked back in, please? Uh-oh, um, whoops. Yeah, see, I shouldn't have, uh, that's uh, my bad. Didn't have put those in just yet. Let's get rid of this lava. Come on. Because now, now all the... Oh my god, are you kidding? Oh, it's everywhere. Ugh. Who likes, who likes lava everywhere? Come on. Because yeah, it's so impossible to get rid of. Come on. Okay, I, I'll, let, I'll let those guys just travel all the way down there. I, I don't care about that stream. Okay. So, nothing bad's going to happen if I do this? Okay, good. And then like this, like this, and these two. Okay. So now the next step is getting them to be unpowered, which is pretty easy to do. Um, basically, you want to clear out everything around uh, the, the torches and have repeaters get powered into them from this side, basically, from the outside. So like this. Because you can't exactly have repeaters going in like this. You're not going to be able to power it. So, let's go ahead like that, bam bam, oops, and like this. Then the next part is uh, there needs to be a torch here, which is going to be powering everything, and then repeaters all going here, and along the side like this, and then a repeater here, uh, a repeater here, because if you put redstone, then when it powers this, it's automatically going to power it through this. So you need to put a repeater there and set these to two ticks because since this repeater adds an extra delay to this, you need to compensate for that by putting delay on these ones. Okay, so then we put these two over here, power these, and uh, you put a delay on them so that they match that one. And then here, go like that, and then just over like this and put a delay. So now the next step is putting your trigger which is pretty easy to do. Just remember to put a repeater right here because otherwise if you just put like that, it's gonna connect and it's all gonna bug out. So you don't want that. Um, so they're going to be running through like this and uh, you can basically put the pressure pad wherever you want. Um, it's better to put it around here because uh, what's gonna happen is there's going to be a pretty big delay after uh, before it goes off. So something like, and then it turns on, right? So like this is actually a pretty uh, good distance because you'll see right about there it will click and everything 
will get set off. So now we're going to try the test phase. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, I actually need more than those, but uh, let's start with that for now. Let's go ahead and pop these in. Actually, no, I think eight's enough. Yeah, eight's enough. Okay, so cool. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. And here we go. Whoop. And just like that, works perfect on the first try. And then, yeah, you gotta make sure to put uh, the floor in before you do something like that because the water just came and ruined all the redstone. <laughs> that sucks. Well, anyway, uh, thanks all for watching this tutorial. Check out the top 10 traps in the description if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, thanks all for watching, guys. Peace.